Good evening, I'm Paul Fraser and this is the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa wrote in an opinion piece for the Washington Times published today saying that religious diversity is a blessing to Bahrainis who have for centuries grown up with neighbours of all faiths, cultures and all ethnicities, enabling them to be happy and comfortable living in a multicultural, multi-faith society and to recognise this diversity as a natural and normal way of life in the country. His Majesty said that Bahraini ancestors began the tradition of churches, synagogues and temples built next to mosques, stressing that there is no ignorance about other religious rites or practices. His Majesty the King also said that in Bahrain everyone lives together in peaceful coexistence in the spirit of mutual respect and love and believes it is their duty to share it with the world and that ignorance is the enemy of peace. That is the reason the Kingdom of Bahrain declaration was composed, calling for religious tolerance and peaceful coexistence throughout the entire world. His Majesty said that Bahrainis drew from their national heritage an example of religious tolerance in the Arab world. He stated that in Bahrain, religious diversity is a blessing to its people and that Catholic, Orthodox and Evangelical church communities are welcomed. He also expressed pride that Hindu nationals in Bahrain can worship in a 200-year-old temple near the Sikh temple and mosques. His Majesty expressed pride in Bahrain's small Jewish community who feel free to wear the yarmulke and worship in their own synagogue, which is the only one in the Arabian Peninsula. Also stating that Jewish community plays a very active role at the highest levels of society, including an ambassador from Bahrain to Washington in 2008, who was the first Jewish diplomat to the United States from an Arab country. His Majesty highlighted the desire to protect Bahrain's religious pluralism for future generations, which guarantees everyone the right to worship in safety. His Majesty also highlighted the strength of Bahrain in its diversity and expressed faith in a more secure and prosperous world, adding that embracing differences teaches religious tolerance. His Majesty stated that religious freedom should not be viewed as a problem, but rather as a real solution to many of the world's biggest challenges, and especially terrorism, which knows no religion and threatens all peace-loving peoples. His Majesty added that the reason behind writing the Kingdom of Bahrain's declaration is to call for pluralism, which unequivocally rejects compelled religious observance and condemns acts of violence, abuse and incitement in the name of religion. The Kingdom of Bahrain Declaration is a call for leaders and for the masses and it calls upon clerics and clergy, rulers and presidents and regular citizens to ensure that religious faith is a blessing to all mankind and the foundation for peace in the world. His Majesty also stated that pluralism should be embraced in the Arab world, highlighting the importance of mutual respect and love. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Sakhir Palace today the participants and contributors to This is Bahrain, which was held in Los Angeles under the patronage of His Majesty the King, during which the Kingdom of Bahrain Declaration was issued and King Hamid Global Centre for Interfaith Dialogue and Peaceful Coexistence was opened, with the participation of various government authorities, religious institutions and civil societies in Bahrain. The guests greeted His Majesty the King.
محمد بن عيسى الخليفة ملك البلاد المفدى أصحاب السمو والمعالي والسعادة ضيوفنا الكرام السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته نحتفي اليوم بكل جهد ساهم في إطلاق إعلان مملكة البحرين هذا الإعلان الذي تحاكي فيه كلماتكم يا صاحب الجلالة ألوان العالم وأطيافه بلغة المحبة والتسامح إعلان جاء يحمل شيم العروبة وغايات الإسلام يضع سداً وردًا لكل مشكك في كون مملكة البحرين أرض الحوار وملتقى الثقافات وواحة السلام سيدي إنه لشرف كبير وثقة نعتز بها في جمعية هذه هي البحرين أن نجعل من رؤيتكم السديدة نبراساً نستنير به في وضع أهدافنا وتنظيم فعالياتنا التي بدأت بجهود بسيطة وفي إطار محلي حتى بلغت اليوم بفضل توجيهاتكم الحكيمة بلغت إنجازات لا تقل في الأهمية عن المكتسبات التنموية والحضارية لمملكتنا الغالية والتي شهدت لها العديد من المنظمات والتقارير الدولية ذات المصداقية العالية يا صاحب الجلالة لقد تجلت نظرتكم الثاقبة في استشراف المستقبل الزاهر لأبناء الوطن والمنطقة حين جعلتم التعايش والتسامح منهجاً وفكراً وخصصتم كرسياً أكاديمياً لدراسة هذه العلوم في إحدى أعرق الجامعات الأوروبية في روما وأصدرتم أمركم السامي بتدشين مركز الملك حمد العالمي للحوار بين الأديان والتعايش السلمي وذلك على أرض مملكة البحرين وستستمر جهود المخلصين من أبنائكم نحو المزيد لتحقيق توقعات جلالتكم في أن تكون مملكة البحرين في مصاف الدول المتقدمة في العالم على The guests briefed His Majesty on the success of This is Bahrain, which reflected His Majesty's wise vision of peaceful coexistence and interfaith dialogue. They added that the event showcased Bahrain's leading role, its cultural and humanitarian status, and its religious freedom, tolerance, and coexistence throughout history. التي لم تتوانى في تغطية فعالية إطلاق إعلان مملكة البحرين بلوس أنجلوس فبذلت كل الجهد وقدمت جميل التعاون والتنسيق في نقل الحدث عبر قنواتهم المواقرة فلهم جزيل الشكر سيدي يا صاحب الجلالة هذه هي البحرين لكل هل البحرين فليتفضل سيدي صاحب الجلالة الملك حمد بن عيسى الخليفة بإلقاء كلمته السامدة بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته يسعدنا اللقاء بكم بعد المشاركة المتميزة والنتائج الطيبة التي حققتها فعالية هذه هي البحرين خلال زيارتكم الأخيرة للولايات المتحدة الأمريكية والمتمثلة في الإعلان عن تدشين مركز عالمي يحمل اسمنا للحوار بين الأديان والتعايش السلمي يقام بمملكة البحرين في الغريب العاجل بإذن الله وكذلك إطلاق إعلان مملكة البحرين كوثيقة عالمية لتعزيز الحرية الدينية شاكرين بهذه المناسبة الإبن العزيز سمو الشيخ ناصر بن حمد آل خليفة كممثل لنا في هذه الفعالية على طرحه القيم ومشاركته اللافتة التي ساهمت في توضيح موقف بلاده الراسخ تجاه حماية الحريات الدينية واحترام التعددية بتنوعها الفكري والثقافي والديني كوسيلة مثلى للحفاظ على خصوصية ومكانة مملكة البحرين 
كموطن للمحبة والسلام معربين للجميع عن اعتزازنا بتوجهات وأهداف هذا المشروع العالمي بما يحمله من رسائل نبيلة تعتبر التسامح والتقارب الديني قيمة حضارية مثلى لتحصين المجتمعات والحفاظ على مدنيتها وتحضرها وتجد في الحوار الوسيلة الآمنة لتحقيق التقارب الإنساني ومج سور التسامح والوئام بين الشعوب والوقوف في وجه قوى التطرف والإرهاب ولا يسعنا في الختام إلا أن نتوجه بالشكر والامتنان لسعادة السيد سمير البحارنة عضو مجلس الشورى والسيدة بتسي مثسو أمين عام اتحاد الجاليات وكل الأخوة والأخوات المساندين لأعمال الاتحاد ونشاطاته مهنئين الجميع على النجاح الباهر لفعالياته الأخيرة ومقدرين لكم سعيكم المخلص لتثبيت موقع مملكة البحرين كمركز عالمي لاحتضان وإطلاق المشاريع والمبادرات الهادفة إلى تعزيز التقارب الحضاري بين أتباع الأديان ومختلف الثقافات الذي لا نرى له بديل للوصول إلى السلام والرخاء المنشود لنماء مجتمعاتنا الإنسانية والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته The Secretary General of the Bahrain Federation of Expatriate Associations, Betsy Matheson, delivered the following Your speech. Highnesses, Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, it is indeed an honor and privilege for our This is Bahrain delegates and sponsors to be received here today by Your Majesty. Your Majesty, we have recently returned from the international launch of the Kingdom of Bahrain Declaration and the King Hamid Global Center for Peaceful Coexistence, which was held in Los Angeles, California. As we gather here today, Your Majesty, we are very proud and happy to note the publication of Your Majesty's very beautiful and powerful article in today's Washington Times. Your Majesty, I must begin by congratulating Your Majesty on the realization of Your Majesty's vision to share with the world the Kingdom of Bahrain's centuries-old model of religious freedom and peaceful coexistence through the launch of three unique world firsts, namely the Kingdom of Bahrain Declaration, the King Hamid Global Center for Peaceful Coexistence, and the King Hamid Chair in Interfaith Dialogue and Peaceful Coexistence at Sapienza University in Rome. The Kingdom of Bahrain Declaration, which echoes Your Majesty's words and beliefs, has been widely acclaimed by all who have read it as a global game changer in the fight against terrorism and has resulted in well-deserved recognition for Your Majesty's many achievements, reforms and aspirations. Your Majesty, the Kingdom of Bahrain Declaration, in conjunction with the King Hamid Global Center and the King Hamid Chair, are precious gifts, not just for Bahrain but for all of humanity, to be treasured not just for today, but for our future generations to come. Your Majesty, you are a shining example to us all that, wh that what can be dreamed can be achieved. I would like to take this opportunity to thank His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, for His Royal Highness's kind and encouraging support for This is Bahrain. Your Majesty, His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and First Deputy Prime Minister, His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa, has personally been the strongest supporter of the Kingdom of Bahrain Declaration, the King Hamid Global Center and the King Hamid Chair. And His Royal Highness has afforded us every assistance in our humble endeavors. And we offer our deepest gratitude to His Royal Highness. I would like to say thank you also to His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid Al Khalifa, whose support has been with us from the beginning. 
and we were proud and honoured by His Royal Highness' presence at This Is Bahrain in Rome for the official launch of the King Hamid Chair and as Your Majesty's personal representative in Los Angeles for the international launch of the Kingdom of Bahrain Declaration and the King Hamid Global Centre for Peaceful Coexistence. Your Majesty, His Highness won so many hearts. Your Majesty, we are most grateful for the active participation of several of Your Majesty's ministers that enabled us to showcase the incredible benefits provided to Bahrainis and expatriates alike here in the Kingdom of Bahrain. Rabbi Marvin Heyer and the Simon Wiesenthal Center are to be thanked and congratulated for their valuable support and assistance in Los Angeles. Their contribution to the success of the event was truly excellent. I also express my gratitude to the Reverend Johnny Moore for his excellent support and contribution towards the development of the Kingdom of Bahrain Declaration. Thank you also to His Excellency Sheikh Abdullah bin Rashid Al Khalifa, the Kingdom of Bahrain's ambassador to Washington and his embassy staff who have been very supportive. I would like to take this opportunity to thank His Excellency Mr. Badr Nasser Al Kharafi. Vice Chairman and Chief Executive Officer of Zain Group Kuwait for his outstanding support for the Kingdom of Bahrain Declaration in Los Angeles. Your Majesty has always impressed upon us the importance of the one family spirit in Bahrain and our This Is Bahrain organizing team are deserving of a very special mention. Your Majesty, our This Is Bahrain team are a family, a family of Bahrainis and expatriates from Manama, Maharek, Rafah, and Sitra. And as such, they are a true reflection of This Is Bahrain. Our organizing team are volunteers from very different backgrounds and faiths, but we are united in our goals and in our love for our king and country and our passion to share with the world the humble Bahraini way of life. I cannot find the words to thank all of them for their incredible contributions as they work around the clock to take Your Majesty's vision to the world as we strive to be mirrors of the true face of life in our beloved kingdom. The This Is Bahrain organizing team and our family of dedicated delegates are true ambassadors and I thank each and every one of them from the bottom of my heart. Your Majesty, the Kingdom of Bahrain Declaration opens with your majesty's words. Ignorance is the enemy of peace. And closes with your majesty's words. Faith illuminates our path to peace. Your majesty's words are what inspired the creation of This Is Bahrain. And we are proud and overjoyed that these very same words are now inspiring religious leaders, academics, presidents, students, and men and women from all over the world to live in peaceful coexistence in the spirit of mutual respect and love. Your Majesty, this is the Bahraini way. This is Bahrain, Your Majesty. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Sakhir Palace today the President of the Court of Cassation and Deputy President of the Supreme Judicial Council, Abdullah bin Hassan Al Buenin, who presented to His Majesty Judge Abdulaziz Ahmed Farhat and Judge Sharij Hassan Abdullah Shadi, who took the legal oath before His Majesty in line with the royal decree of appointing them judges at the Court of Cassation. His Majesty congratulated them, wishing them success in performing their national duty. His Majesty highlighted the Kingdom's pride in its judicial history, affirming keenness on establishing its independence and supporting it with qualified cadres for the important role of the judicial authority in enhancing the principles of justice, equality, preservation of freedoms and protection of citizens' and residents' rights. 
His Majesty expressed appreciation for the efforts of the Judicial Authority members, highlighting the organisation and continuous development of the structure and legislation of Bahraini justice. He asserted that the Kingdom continues its process of development and modernisation in all its vital sectors to make further achievements that serve the country and the citizens. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa held his weekly majlis today at Rafah Palace. Members of the Royal Family, senior government officials, members of the Shura Council and Council of Representatives, members of the Municipal Councils, religious and community leaders, journalists and diplomats attended the majlis. His Royal Highness welcomed visitors at the weekly majlis, which demonstrates Bahrain's commitment to rooted traditions and values that are underpinned by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's aspirations to maintain a strong bond amongst Bahrain's society. The majlis visitors extended their appreciation and gratitude to His Royal Highness for hosting the majlis and emphasized the important role His Royal Highness plays in advancing sustainable development to guarantee prosperity and opportunity for the people of Bahrain. Royal Guard Commander His Highness Brigadier General Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid Al Khalifa visited one of Bahrain Defence Forces units today, accompanied by the Commander of the Royal Guard Special Force Major General His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamid Al Khalifa and a number of senior Royal Guard officers. His Highness was received by the unit's commander and a number of senior officers. Sheikh Nasser was briefed on the development and preparation programs as well as the military training of the Royal Guard's Special Force. His Highness conveyed the greetings and appreciation of His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa to the officers for their noble sacrifices while fighting amongst the Arab coalition forces to support legitimacy in Yemen led by Saudi armed forces. His Highness thanked them for their high military professionalism during their participation with the Bahrain Defence Forces in Yemen. His Highness highlighted the appreciation of the Arab coalition forces led by Saudi Arabia for the BDF officers' efforts, stating that his appreciation is a result of the officers' efforts through performing their national duty, which are an implementation of the directives of His Majesty the King and the follow-up of the BDF Commander-in-Chief, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa. The Minister of Oil, Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, deputised Bahrain Petroleum Company, that's BATCO's CEO, Dr. Pete Bartlett, earlier today to inaugurate the third Leadership Excellence for Women Awards and Symposium, that's LIWAS 2017, held at the Bahrain International Exhibition and Convention Centre, with a wide participation of leading female engineers from government institutions, oil and industrial companies, and official and civil authorities in the Gulf. Within the initiative, of the Middle East Process Engineering Conference and Exhibition, that's MEPEC 2017, to strengthen communication and learn the best practices used in the oil and gas industry in the GCC. Babco's CEO thanked the Minister of Oil for the invitation and hailed the efforts of the organisers for hosting the event, which comes in accordance with the Supreme Council of Women's efforts to promote the culture of leadership, excellence for women, and encouraging innovation, leadership, accomplishments, and women's achievements in academia, the commercial and industrial sectors, and the field of oil and gas. He conveyed the greetings of the oil minister to the participating Gulf delegations and to all the honorees of Libas 2017, wishing them further success. The Minister of Labour and Social Development, Jamil bin Mohammed Homedin, opened the General Career Fair earlier today, hosted by the Ministry until the 12th of October in the Bani Jamra Cultural and Sports Club. MPs Jalal Khadam Al Mahfoud and Hamad Salam Al Dosari attended the fair. Over 1,200 vacancies will be available, and more than 30 institutions will provide around 800 vacancies, with wages ranging between 300 to 1,800 Bahraini dinars. The ministry also exhibits 460 training programs in coordination with Tam Keen, in accordance with the labour market's needs to further develop Bahraini cadres. 
The fear is the result of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa's directives that aim to meet the citizens' needs and make more services accessible to them. After the visit of the Labour and Social Development Minister to Daraz, Bani Jamra and Al Budeir. In his statement, Humaidin affirmed that the fair is part of a series of fairs organised by the Ministry in various governments in Bahrain. He asserted that the Ministry will continue to provide job opportunities to citizens and maintain a positive unemployment rate percentage. The Museums in Arabia 2017 conference was launched at Bahrain National Museum today in the presence of the President of Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities, Sheikh Ami bin Mohammed Al Khalifa. The conference was attended by more than 70 museum experts and academics. The 13th edition of the conference will be hosted until the 13th of October as part of the BACA's program for this year under the title Our Archaeology Year. The conference is organised by the museums in Arabia director and faculty member at Zayad University's College of Arts and Creative Enterprises, Dr. Serena Wakefield. Dr. Leila Prager of the University of Hamburg and researcher at New York University in Abu Dhabi. Sheikh May stated that museums ensure the preservation of nation's cultural and civil heritage and that the BACA has dedicated this year in cooperation with museums in Arabia to create a space where expertise can be exchanged with regard to building, developing and enabling museums and visitor centres. She affirmed that the Kingdom through BACA is constantly developing its infrastructure for museums by activating their role in enriching the local cultural movement and by establishing visitor centres and archaeological sites. She expressed thanks to the organisers of the conference and to the cadres of the BACA for reinforcing the status of the Kingdom as a regional and international civil centre. The Southern Governor, Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, headed today the coordination meeting between various organisations related to camping season. He stated that the basis of community participation is mutual cooperation between its members, which represents the government's approach in performing its duty of serving citizens, noting that the camping fee will be waived for the 2017 to 2018 season, since the government is keen on preserving the citizens' right to recreation and entertainment without bearing financial burdens and to enhance the national responsibility principle on campus to follow safety regulations and protect the environment. The Governor announced that the camping season will commence on November 5th until March 5th 2017, adding that the administrative and service preparations that the Camping Season Services Centre will provide are being processed as required.